Dixon's attorney Everett Powell says there needs to be reform. When I came onto the case and, and hearing what happened, I was very disturbed. Uh, but what disturbed me even more was their response to it. This is not a, a mistake. This is not someone accidentally hitting someone. The woman says she lost her baby after police brutally beat her. News of her case comes on the heels of another police brutality investigation. Six News reporter Joanna Massey spoke exclusively with the woman this afternoon and joins us now with more. Joanna? Todd, LaDonna Dixon says she was just trying to help her friend who was having medical problems. When she refused to go inside her house and spoke back to police, she says Officer Scott Childers beat and kicked her very badly, and as a result, Dixon claims she miscarried. Her black eyes and bruises certainly hurt, but LaDonna Dixon says Indianapolis police officer Scott Childers caused her far greater harm when he arrested her in June 2009 outside her east side home. What is the most painful part of all this for you? Not having my child. Dixon said prior to the arrest, she took a home pregnancy test and had an appointment with the doctor. Dixon said she miscarried inside Marion County's arrestee processing center. When she got out of jail, Dixon went to Community Hospital East. Were you afraid immediately that you were going to lose the baby? Yeah, because the way that I was getting thrown around and, you know, slammed to the ground and kicked, I was, like, basically trying to protect myself, but I couldn't because I was handcuffed. LaDonna Dixon claims that she told Officer Scott Childers that she was pregnant while they were out here, but this police report makes no mention of Dixon's pregnancy. When Dixon went to the hospital two days after her arrest, she called police and reported the beating. Did any internal affairs investigators ever contact you with the department? No. Obstruction and resisting law enforcement charges against Dixon were dismissed without explanation. Both Dixon and Powell are familiar with the Brandon Johnson police brutality case. They notified the city of their intention to sue before the Johnson case became public. What went through your mind as you saw his story? Like, here goes another one. Dixon said she is sharing her story with hope that this doesn't happen to someone else. We asked police if an internal investigation ever took place. A spokesperson said he does not know. We are still working to get answers for you. Joanna Massey, 6 News.